I want to take just a minute to look at this keyboard. Now we've been doing some pretty great things with the keyboard throughout these screencasts, but I haven't spent much time looking at that top row of buttons. And Drafts has this custom top row of buttons at the top of the screen that you can scroll left and right on that give you some power tools for your text. Uh, for instance, these left and right arrows allow you to move the cursor in your text. There's also undo and redo buttons. There's a series of markdown buttons, which we'll cover in the markdown screencast. And if you scroll over, you can see that there's some additional uh, buttons, like there's a tab key. So if I wanted to put a tab key somewhere in this document, I could just place the cursor, hit the tab key, and then adding it. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo a few times to take that out. Additionally, there's the at symbol if you're preparing email addresses or writing tweets and the pound sign for the same reason. You can sort text even with this little sort button. But if that's not good enough, you can customize it. Just hit the little edit pencil button there and you can see all of the available edit keys and the order they're placed in. You can even add additional ones from the built-in list. Like I'll go to these text ones. You can say insert text or I can go down and add one for a script or a label. And in addition, just like we had the action directory, there's a directory for the keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And just like before, this is a series of keyboard enhancements created by some smart programmers and available through this website to improve the uh, functionality of the keyboard in your drafts keyboard. So I'm going to go down and look at some of the more popular ones. I really like this one right here that allows you to select the nearest word. So uh, let me just show you what it is. I'll tap on it. And it just finds the nearest word to the cursor and selects it. Sounds silly, but it's very useful. So I'll hit the install button and open that in drafts. And now it's been added. So I can go ahead. You can see there it is at the bottom. If I want to edit it, I'm going to move it up higher so I get it on that first page or that first scroll of uh, enhanced keyboard tools. Click done. Then I'll go back up here and you can see there it is right next to the arrow keys. And if I tap that little uh, select nearest word, the cursor is currently behind the word Barkata. If I tap it, it just selects the word Barkata. Isn't that great? So whatever, wherever your cursor is, you can quickly select the surrounding word. Once again, this sounds silly, but it's super useful. Let's go look at some more. Remove line breaks is really useful. Sometimes you'll import text from the web or somewhere and it has hard line breaks built into the text. I can go ahead and install this feature. And then I can add it to my keyboard. There it is at the bottom. And the next time I get a bunch of text that has a bunch of extra line breaks, all I have to do is open the keyboard and tap this button right here and it removes all the extra line breaks. I'm going to show you one more and this is the sorting one. So let me put some text in here. All right, I've got three words and they're not in alphabetical order. So I'm going to go ahead and select them and I'm going to tap the sort button and you can see it just sorted them alphabetically all with a little button in my drafts keyboard. Isn't that great? As you feel yourself mastering drafts, I want you to spend some time in the keyboard and action directories. I want you to improve your actions and your keyboards with all these great actions that other people have already created, and you'll be surprised how productive you can become with this application.